so good that you're back. What's it Hi. like being back on the street? <laughs> Oh, it's fabulous. I didn't really feel like I had that much time off, to be honest. So um, I never felt like I'd been away too long. I was still able to pick all my scripts up and learn them quite quickly. Excellent, because of course you were, you were off for a very good reason. Of course, you had your little baby. Um, and on New Year's Eve, he I was did, born. I did, yeah. I did, yeah, it was two weeks late, so I spent all of Christmas just sat like a beach whale. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, he finally arrived at home on New Year's Eve, so he's probably watching now, so I'll have to give him a little wave. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Can you, what, how does it work? Can you bring him to work, or do you tend to leave him at home, or how, how does that work for you? Um, sometimes I might bring him to studios, yeah. yeah, but we live quite a distance away from Manchester, so it's just sort of when it's ideal, really. Of course, it can work. When they're tiny and they're portable, it's actually quite easy. And of course, there's a kind of <laughs> yeah, there's a kind of new I know there's a new mums club in Coronation Street because Fizz and Eva, that's um, of course Jenny and Catherine, they've both got wee babies as well. So it must be great that you're all have going through that same experience. Yeah, we had um, a crazy baby boom last year where everyone was just on the sly sort of saying, I'm pregnant, no, I'm pregnant, I'm pregnant. <laughs> uh, so we were thinking, crikey, what's going on? Um, but fabulous. And it's like an exclusive club. You know, you, you clock each other in the morning and you're secretly thinking, wow, you know, I'm really tired and so is the other person. But we just get on with it, you know, and we're so looked after here. Yeah. We are like a big family at Corrie. So we just, yeah, take everyone under each other's wings and, yeah. No, and on, each actually other. on air, you had to come up with some quite cunning and inventive ways to hide the baby bump, didn't you? Oh, well, I was lucky because I was quite small, really. Mm. So they were able for a while to hide it with T-shirts. But then we had to sort of think up new ways of a teapot or a fruit bowl. That was quite <laughs> tricky. Just do not move from that spot. That's what the director would say to me. <laughs> um, it was a whole new way of filming television for me. And it must, be, it must be good to be back, but as, as you said, actually, you've just gone right back into it. You know, you've just gone right back into it, haven't you? Um, and as you were saying, learning the scripts and all of that, yeah. it's been OK. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm five years in now, so I think it's a bit like learning to drive. It doesn't ever really kind of leave you, especially because I've been playing her for, for so long. Mm. I know the way she works. Um, so when I did get them scripts, luckily I was non-speaking the first two scenes, so I was like, whew, um, you know, we can just, just go on there and just, just do a little shot of sure. me. Uh, and then I had 32 pages on my third day back, so I quickly had to, to get into the role again. No, absolutely. She is a fascinating character. She must be an absolute delight to play. She is. She's a gift of a part. And, um, you know, there's not one day that I come into work and I'm bored of playing her. You know, sometimes the costumes are a bit crazy and I think, oh, do I really want to wear this today? But, um, no, she's fabulous. She keeps me on my toes all the time and I just think she works in the Platt family. You know, it's just been, yeah, a fabulous family to be a part of. No, absolutely. They are so dysfunctional. I mean, dysfunctional doesn't even begin to describe it when you think about what's happened to <laughs> no, that family. We are, we are the mafia of Coronation Street. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. But she, is, she, she has become very much part of the street um, and that, that's a testament to, obviously, to the writers but also to you because I think you've made her likeable. Oh, that's very kind. Um, well, yeah, I guess the audience do love her. They love to hate her, they hate to love her. I think it's just that constant pull where, you know, like she lets the audience down in a way, and, and that's what challenges me, especially with the story. I was a little bit kind of, I suppose in a way, a bit shocked with the whole drug storyline because I thought, crikey, can they forgive her, you know, yeah. another time after, especially the affair with Nick, and there's been so much going on. Um, but you have to go with it because, you know, it is make-believe, really. Um, but, yeah, I just hope that they, they are able to forgive her, really, because I did feel missed. The amount of tweets that I mm. got and messages that would just say, oh, we want you back, you know, yeah. we really miss you. And I was thinking, oh, it is it's very flattering.